Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm here today to show you um, my um, full display of all, well, the majority of my pins and other items. Yeah. So, red satin in the background. So, let's take this off. I'm going to start off with the big uh, um, Nazi symbols, swastikas. Here's a um, Nazi armband. This is for my grandfather. He found this in a house in Berlin, I think it was, when they were invading. And here's the next thing, which is a uh, flag which also came from him, um, which was found with the armband. This was the flag that they would put on front of um, uh, jeeps. So they would have them on the flagpole. They were just like basically miniature flags. There were normally two in the front. Here are two marksman awards. This one here is for rifle, and this one is for pistol. Not sure what the D stands for. If you can see that. And um, the next thing here I have is U.S. pilot wings. Um, these were taken from a German who was captured, which took these off of a dead pilot. The back is ripped off of him, which, I don't know, he just must have tore it off his shirt, or the last time what happens. Um, and then here's another Marksman Award from my grandfather. Um, he got this in boot camp. Um, next thing is the U.S., um, army pin. These, now, this is an odd one. I'm not sure what was um, uh, special about this one, or if it's not special at all, or if it is special at all, but it's um, a silver color, not, the normally brass, so I'm not sure if that's any significant thing, but, and then I have two of the exact same thing, two signal corpse pins, this one was my grandfather's, and this one um, I just found, or not found, bought, um, oh, by the way, this would, I think, normally go on um, uh, a hat. Not like a dress hat, like a, just one of the fold-up ones that you can keep on your butt. Here's a nurse's pin. This would go on a hat. As you can see, it has the uh, pin right here. Next, I have a... Now, I'm not sure I've seen that symbol before. Right there. If anybody can tell me in the comments, that'd be great. But this is a pocket knife. There it is. The blade has been either um, broken and resharpened, or it was just sharpened so much that it um, uh, just kind of wore down. And it's a shame because this here is the safety. It's broken. Well, there you it. Now, this next thing, I'm also not sure what it is. I got this from my uncle. It says Adolf Hitler right here at the bottom, and it has a swastika engraved on it, 1943. If anybody can tell me what this is in the comments, that'd be great. Um, the next was um, my great uncle's, which is the uh, Marine Corps um, uh, emblem. Oh. This went on a hat. Um, this was, he had this um, on his uniform in one of his pockets, so I'm not sure what it was for because the one he had is still on his hat. But um, this here, the sergeant stripes. This is not the staff sergeant, this is just normal. Sergeant Three Stripes. I'm pretty sure this would go on the, uh, the, uh, tough link, or, um, uh, the bottom of the, uh, sleeve. Um, this one, it is not a World War II thing. This is, um, uh, well, it's, um, World War One. This was given to, um, uh, people on the hospital train. These were, um, uh, basically passes for trains, which is what they would use to get around when they were on leave. Here, um, it's nothing special. Basically, anybody who survived World War II um, got one of these if they were in the VFW. This was my grandfather's. Well, this is from Pennsylvania, so I'm not sure if they gave these out in other states. But, yep. And then here's the last thing in my showcase, which is a 101st Airborne Screaming Eagles pin with um, a member of the 101st Airborne signature on it. His name was John Prime. There it is. Everything else is written about when he dropped or when he jumped. Um, yeah, that's really it about the showcase. Um, if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Take care.